Welcome back, everyone. Ann Hart from the Vermont's Market Cafe is back with us with one of her best dishes. Yes, yeah, comfort food. Ann, take <laughs> it away. Hi, I'm Ann Hart at Provence Market Cafe in Bridgeport, and on Hot Plate we talk about what's cool, trendy, and hot in the culinary world. Right now, nothing's more trendy than going back to comfort foods, and one of the most most popular com comfort foods, especially with children, is a grilled cheese sandwich. So what we're going to do is take it up just a little bit and use some local fresh apples. I'm going to use cheddar cheese and also going to use some ham and spinach. So you have something that's very healthy for you, but something maybe the kids will eat as well. So. First off, I'm going to put butter into my pan. And I'm take, I, I'm using a little French baguette, so I'm taking off both sides to make it level. Cut it in half. Very, very, very easy, very quick. You can use other ingredients as well. If your child likes chicken, you can add that to it. Just about any kind of meat would be fine. All right. I put both sides down. And the cheese I'm using today is a four-year-old H Wisconsin cheddar. Take a little slice of that. This has a rind on it, a little wax. So I'll take that off of there. There's all different kinds of cheeses you can use for this, really whatever your favorite cheese is. And on one side, I'm going to add the cheese. It's going to have a lot of cheese on this. And I've sliced some nice ham. I'm just going to cut that up a bit. Add that also. You'll see in a lot of the uh, larger cities, they're doing a lot with um, macaroni and cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches, um, going back to the old, old basics. So that definitely is a trend. Okay, and we'll just cover this up, let that cook on one side until it gets nice and brown. Okay, while this is finishing browning on one side, I'm going to take some apples and do a little slice Stick on the thin side. These are West Virginia apples. So I always try to use local whenever I possibly can. And I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Nice color. Beautiful. And while that other side is finishing, I'm going to just lift up my lid, pop in my apples. Throw on some fresh spinach. Put my lid back on. Let that finish cooking off. Now you could do this under in your oven after you get it browned off to make the cheese all nice and melty. It really depends on what you like. That's what's nice about these sandwiches. So then I'm gonna take the sandwich. slice it. Put it on my platter and there you have it, another hot plate. All of our recipes can be found on ProvenceMarketCafe.com. Now that we're all officially uh, starving yeah. and hungry, we should maybe move on so we can get out of here and this go eat. This got us talking about cheese, though. I mean, that cheese was, that was like super cheese. You don't like individually wrapped American no, cheese. I cannot eat the Kraft Singles. Call me weird, but I can't eat it. No, it's fine. It's kind of un-American, but we won't hold that against you. Final look at your forecast when we come back. Stay with us. <laughs>